morning everyone and welcome to this new video of Precious Tips. Today, as you can see from the title of the video, we are going to discover one of the most beautiful and important color gem of all time, the ruby, the red brother of the sapphire. If you want to learn anything more about this gem, stay tuned and I'll tell you all the stories and the characteristics of this gem. The name ruby comes from the Latin ruber, which means red. Medieval Europeans wore ruby to succeed in love, health and wealth. Because of its color, it has always been associated with passion, love and beauty. It is the world's most famous and best loved red gem. It is the most important colored stone in the market at its red variety of the gem species Corundum. The quality of a ruby is determined by different factors. The most important is the color. The finest ruby has a vivid red color with a light purple hint. In its purest form, the corundum is colorless, but if some trace elements stick into this crystal structure, the mineral can have some change in color. In the case of a ruby, the trace element that affects the red color is the chromium. The saturation of the color depends on the quantity of the chromium present in the corundum. Because the chromium causes fluorescence, the best ruby must have also some traces of iron, which inhibits the fluorescence. The hardness is 9 on the most scale, it's the hardest stone on earth after the diamond. Historically, the best quality color ruby comes from the Burmese source, which is described as pigeon's blood. Even though the region of a ruby is important to guarantee the quality, not only Myanmar produces high quality gems, any ruby source can produce both high and low quality stones. The major source of ruby are in Asia, Myanmar, Thailand, Sri Lanka, Cambodia and Pakistan. There are mines also in Africa, Madagascar, Kenya, Malawi and Tanzania. Natural rubies are very often included and it is also difficult to find in big specimen. It's rare to see an eye clean ruby in exceptional size. The environment where the ruby forms make it difficult for the crystal to grow. But the story is different for the sapphire, the brother of ruby. The blue stone is easily found in bigger size and less included. Treatments are widely used to enhance the beauty of the ruby, and the heat treatment is now so common that it is accepted in the trade. Actually, in every gem market it is assumed that all rubies are heated, unless there is a certificate that can prove it. Heat has a multiple benefits. It works in both color and clarity. Any brown shades that lower the clarity disappear to bring out the red color, while also the inclusions become less visible. Other used treatments less accepted from the trade are dyeing and fracture filling. Can happen sometimes to see in the market the star ruby. The phenomena called asterism is caused by the needle-like inclusions into the stone. If it is cut into a cabochon, the light is reflected in a six-ray star. Those gems are highly priced and very rare. Ruby and Star Ruby are both the U.S. beard stones of July. Ruby is one of the earliest colored stones to be imitated, with both natural and synthetic materials. Glass is the most common material used as imitator. Other materials are red spinel, garnet, CZ cubic zirconia and dyed corundum. In the late 19th century, some scientists introduced in the market a new kind of ruby man-made in lab. They found a way to synthesize in the lab what Mother Nature makes in million years. The process is quick and cheap. Those synthetic rubies are now easily affordable, not expensive and they look really good to the untrained eye. But no worries, the gemologist has the knowledge to distinguish between those and a natural one. If you want to buy a jewel with ruby, always ask for a certificate, just to be sure. Okay, we are done for this video this time. I hope you liked it. And as always, I remember you, if you want to review all the information that I said about the ruby, you can have a look on my blog and I'll leave you the link in the info box just down below. And if you still have some question or doubt about the rubies or any other gemstone, you can leave me uh, the question or a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video and if you want to stay up to date to all my new videos about gems and gemology, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!